everybody. My name is Yashishwini. So today I'm going to say you about digestive system. So first I'm going to start with the meaning of digestion. Digestion is the process of breakdown of food into smaller particles that can be easily absorbed by our body. So now I'm going to start with the parts of the digestive system. They are mouth, salivary glands, esophagus, stomach, salivary glands, pancreas, liver, gallbladder, large intestine, appendix, rectum and anus. Still there are many parts in our body but these are some important parts of the digestive system. So now I am going to introduce the parts and say about it. Now first the mouth and salivary glands. The digestion of food starts from the mouth. Here we bite and chew the food. This food gets soft and moist due to the saliva present. Saliva the digestive juice present in the structure called salivary glands. This salivary glands breaks down the food that contains starch such as rice into the sugar hence it tastes very sweet this soft and moist food is called bolus this bolus enters the esophagus now esophagus is a muscular tube connecting from toe to stomach it is 8 inches long and have pink in pink moist tissues called mucosa this esophagus carries food relaxing and alternatively to the stomach it's mainly its job is to carry the food from Mouth to stomach. Now the food digests the stomach. Stomach is a muscular organ and it is very hairy. It is located to the left upper abdomen. Means a part of a body of a vertebrate containing a digestive and reproductive organ. The simply a belly. When the stomach receives the food from the esophagus, it produces the digestive juices and digests the food. Here, food stays for many hours. Do you know why the lumping sound in our stomach occurs? Because of there is no food in our stomach and the digestive juices contract on intestines. Now the food in this small intestine. Small intestine is also called a small bowel. It is around 20 feet long and about an inch in the diameter. Diameter is, means a line passing from a side to side of a body. The job of small intestine is to absorb the 90% of nutrients like proteins, vitamins, minerals and water. Now the food then is the liver. The liver digests the food by producing the bile which breaks down the fat and removing toxins. This liver also stores vitamins and minerals. Now the food then is the pancreas. It produces enzyme the digestive juice to break down the proteins, fats and carbohydrates. Now the food enters the gallbladder. This bladder stores the bile that produced by the liver. Now the food enters the large intestine. Large intestine is also called as colon or large bowel. It is 5 feet long and 3 inches in diameter. It, its job is to absorb the waste water from the waste creating stool. Now the food enters the appendix. Here the Appendix is the junk, sits in the junction of the small and large intestine. It is 4 inches. It is located in the left, right lower abdomen. It, it acts like a storehouse of good bacteria. It is useless to remnant from our evolutionary past. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you liked and understood my explanation. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.